What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the series. We are soon enough about to wrap up with this machine. If not in this video, it'll be in the next one. In this video, what I want to do is set up the privilege escalation vector or path, whatever you want to call it, so that the user may be able to gain root once they have access to the machine as the user Naruto, right? So as stated in like the previous videos, the privilege escalation is going to be a binary. We are going to be abusing SUID permissions or privileges, right? Um, a user is able to make a fake binary or fake copy of whatever binary we have, run it, it calls the binary, they get root shell, ETC, fun stuff, right? So um, this is a pretty common thing you'll see in CTFs or like machines on like Vulnub, Hack the Box, Try Acne, super beginner friendly. So let's get straight into it. It shouldn't take too long. I already know what some of the code looks like, but um, in case I forget, it might be a longer video, but uh, let's get into it. So what we wanna do is make a binary and we need a name for the binary. We already used Rinnegan. So let's just say, let's call it Kakashi. Kakashi.c, it's gonna be written in C as usual, because C is fun, right? Int main, do I remember how to write in C? I have no idea. Set UID, we'll set this to zero. Set GID, if I can type. Set this to zero as well. And then we want to use the system function, which is dangerous. Don't use it. And we want to use wget. And for here, we have wget because Linux usually comes default with wget. So we want to use a binary or something that comes default in Linux. In this case, I just chose the wget. And so we wanted to download the, we need to escape this. We wanted to download the index.html file from localhost port 80, since we have Apache running there. Um, index. It's actually PHP, isn't it? I think it's PHP. Oh, well, we'll see. Close that, put that, return zero. I think this looks like it is good C code. I think so. This should not be a semicolon. A colon. Colon. Okay. Let's save that. Cat it out. That is the binary basically. We're gonna use GCC to compile it. Tag O Kakashi. Okay. Did that work? Yes, we have a Kakashi file. So if we download this, as you can see, we don't have an index.php file yet. So if we run Kakashi, we should it should download index.php, but it says not found. So which means Apache is not running. Status Apache, is that it? I think so. That should be the command. And it says Apache is running. It's, it's Apache PHP. That's the question now. Is it PHP? I hate the sound. Let me turn it off. It could be um, HTML, but it doesn't matter. The point is it does what it's supposed to do. So now that we have this, right, we need to create an exploit and see if it actually works. So I need to move this and uh, put it in a directory where it can be seen if you run linpeas or something like that. So move Kakashi to use a local bin and it's still gonna be called Kakashi. We might also wanna put the source code in there so that the user actually sees what's going on. We need pseudo permissions for that. We also need to change the permissions of um, this binary. We might need to change the, the owner. But for now, we want a chmod add suid permissions to Kakashi. Suzo local bin Kakashi. We also want to change the owner. I think we need to change the owner. I'm not too sure about that. Let me actually not change the owner and see if that works with it being owned by the user Naruto. 
but it's in there and so if someone runs this linpeas and whatever you should see this binary pop up as foreign um it's definitely going to be red and you should then take a look at it but to craft the exploit we can cd enter temp ls not much in temp here let's clear the screen we want to make a fake to be get that we can use to pop a shell something like that what i usually like to do let's nano wget.c and int main system so what i usually like doing from here is getting bin bash and making a bad version of it and giving it suid permissions and allowing it to be run by any user copy bin bash to temp and we call it bad bash and chmod give it suid permission so that when we run it as a regular user with the dash p flag it still gives us a root shell temp bad bash i think this should work i keep on putting the wrong thing there i want to return zero i hope this works actually not too sure we'll see gcc wget then tag o we'll call it wget do we have it now it is there so before we can run this we want to export our path to temp i think this is how you do it nah i forgot the command export path to temp how do you do this my good sir export temp dr no 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 it's not what I'm looking for, bruv. TMP. There we go. So when we run now a binary, it's first going to look for that binary in temp, if that makes sense. So if we run the Kakashi binary, since it's calling wget from the system function or from the system command it's gonna need to look for the binary wget and in temp we have the binary wget which is malicious right so if you don't get it forget about it but for now these are the only files we have in temp so if we happen to call our binary how do i do this bash user local bin kakashi it should it does not have executable permissions that's weird do i need to go in there okay let's run kakashi um that's not supposed to happen. I'm supposed to run it from temp. Hmm. This is becoming weird because I don't know how to do this anymore. Did it not export my path? Let's try this again. Echo path. Temp should be in front. We still don't have our bad bash. This is not exactly how I want to echo. Or oh, is it the other way? That one looks like it's the other way. Okay, now we have temp at the beginning. Okay, so now it should work if we run this binary. So ls and temp, we don't have a bad bash yet. 
if we try to run this Kakashi thing, as you can see, it didn't try download um, the index.php from localhost, which means it ran our malicious wget. So if we ls, now we have a bad bash. If we lsla, it is executable, it has SUID permissions. So if we run bad bash with the dash p, technically, theoretically, hopefully, we should be root. And that did not work because it is owned by the user Vagrant. Um, my laptop kind of died, but because of that, I then figured out why I couldn't get this to work. We need to go back and edit wget.c and run these commands as sudo. So since we changed the ownership of Kakashi to be owned by root, um, if it calls system, it can run as sudo. So we're gonna copy bin bash to temp, call it bad bash, and then give it SUID permissions, right? So it's gonna be owned by root once we run this. So I already have that in there. I can close that out. I can gcc wget.c, tag out, wget, right? Clear the screen, ls, as you can see, we only have wget in here. So now if we run user local bin Kakashi, looks like it ran properly. If we ls la, now we have bad bash and it is owned by root. So theoretically, technically, hopefully, if we run bad bash with the dash p flag, it should keep the permissions and we should have a root shell. And we do. We have a root shell. And we can confirm that if we can type because now we are root. And that is how you would exploit this. So in terms of exploitation, testing out, that's how we do it. Now we need to figure out how to put this in our installation script, right? So under add privesc, we can copy this. And say adding privilege. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Escalation. Vector. Vector. So I'm probably just gonna copy and paste some of this stuff. Um, copy. Paste. Okay, Control Shift F. I need to remove all instances of this. Well, not all instances actually. It's just this part. So that is our privilege escalation. Someone should have access to the code so that they can see what it's actually doing. Let me make this wrap. And we need to add user and clean up. So the cleaning up should not be very difficult. Adding user. To add the user, we'd have to run user add dash m naruto dash m just makes the home folder i think not too sure about that and then we can echo naruto what password did we use i'm pretty sure i saved the password somewhere this is the password we used and then that is how we would set the password for the user Naruto. This air conditioning is pretty loud. Set the user for user Naruto. And then basically we need to clean up. All right, I'm gonna copy this twice. And we shall say cleaning up. So I already have the commands to clean up um, with me. I'm gonna just copy and paste because I am lazy. I will push everything to the GitHub. So do not worry if you want to copy and paste as well, it'll be there for you. So we will have to disable IPv6, just something you have to do when you're making boxes for some platforms. 
I know you have to do it if you're making a box for offset. Copy and paste, but the stuff is not ready. Your boy is not organized. I'm trying to do this in a very rushed manner, right? And just configuring the host name, localhost, Naruto, etc. We need to disable the history files. Copy and paste that. So, uh, putting a sim link to DevNelf root bash history and Naruto bash history. And then we need to allow root SSH. Just good practice in case someone finds some unintended path, I guess. No clue why that has to be there, but I've seen it somewhere. Um, we want to add the password for the root user. And after we add the password for the root user, I think this needs to be run as sudo. And then we can drop the flags. These are going to be the flags. You can change these out to whatever you want. And after that, more cleanup. There we go. So once you've done all this, this is the end of the machine. You can do other things to tweak it up, add your own personality, etc. As you can see, I like Naruto, so that's why this box is named after that. There might be things I might have skipped or gotten wrong. Just let me know in the comments and we can fix that in future videos. But that is mostly it. The code is all going to be on GitHub. That is the machine Naruto. You can copy this installation script, run it on the own machine you want, and try break the box just to have fun with it. But that is this box. In future videos, we're going to be building some more fun stuff. Active Directory, larger networks, stuff in the cloud. So watch out for that. Do the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, I will catch you in the next one.